I mean, Bilson's a pain, sure, but without this project, I'm probably out of a job. Right. Um, it's funny that you mentioned the project because... You're an alien. Keep up the good work, buddy. Your hair and teeth look fantastic today. You're, you're shining like a diamond. Thank you. I needed that. Hey, Ted, you'll never guess what happened. Your costume's Our costume. Yes. <laughs> that is why we're best friends. <laughs> 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 I am so sick of this song. Don't worry, it comes around again. What do you mean? Just a be the man who walks a thousand miles and falls down at your door. Ooh. Yeah, we totally nailed the ending. Yeah, that was probably like our best one. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should finish our drinks, go out in the alley, and whip stuff. You just get me. <laughs> and then there's the most popular parental lie in history, Santa. Yeah, but that's a good lie. Like when we tell Ted he'll meet the right girl and settle down. I always find that reassuring. You will meet her, buddy. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> what future bride? The girl. She's out there walking around New York City right now, probably in a pair of really cute boots that she's gonna let me borrow whenever I want because we're the same size. She is out there, Ted. Is she really? Because I've looked. I have looked high and low for someone I can love and adore and cook waffles for. The closest I've come is Marshall. He does love your waffles. It's the cinnamon. I had cinnamon. Hey, Marshall. Hey, Ted. You hungry? What's the point? I could eat some food. It's just gonna leave me. Well, at least in that scenario, you get to do the dumping. Ted, the only people in the universe who haven't seen Star Wars are the characters in Star Wars, and that's because they lived them, Ted. That's because they lived the Star Wars. Hey, Mr. Grab a beer. You want one? Um, <clears throat> the movie's already started, so. Yeah, it's just some words flying through space. I mean, I'm not gonna read that anyway. Oh, my God. Off to a bad start. <laughs> what are you doing down there? I'm making sure my best friend is marrying the right woman. That's what I'm doing. It all started a long time ago in a dorm room far, far away. Dude, if we fail this econ final for the rest of our lives, we're not going to be able to... We won't know how to... Do you even know what econ is? No idea. We're screwed. But there's only one thing left to do at a time like this. Watch the entire Star Wars trilogy all the way through because I haven't done that in like five years. Dude, you can't let that happen. If you're not trilling it at least once every three years, the dark side wins. Okay, if Stella doesn't like this movie, I can't marry her. No, you can't. You want to watch it again? Yes, I do. We were like Lewis and Clark. If Lewis and Clark peed in empty soda bottles and had a bong made out of a cantaloupe. <laughs> Ted! Ted! Check it out. I got black coffee on the left. I got tantrum on the right. Do you have a phone book? Yes, I do. I don't know why they make phone books anymore. Everything's online, right? <laughs> Tantrum! Uh, hey, <clears throat> will you, uh, toss me that bottle? Yeah, we haven't done this forever. Dude, you're a grown man. Why are you throwing a tantrum? <laughs> nice. So awesome. So awesome. Our band is gonna be in demand. And luckily, there'll be plenty of supply. <laughs> supply? Demand? Dude, do you realize what we just did? We used econ. We're gonna ace this final. <laughs> we both got zeros. I'm looking for my wife, Ms. Aldrin. There's no school today. It's a Saturday. <sighs> of course. How could I forget? <laughs> Dumbass. Listen, little buddy, I understand it's prom and the adrenaline's pumping. But... No, not tonight. I've waited too long for this. I finally got a girl, and I'm not going to let you take her away from me. Oh, oh, oh. Let's not get carried away. Yeah! Nunchaku! Oh! I'm coming, Rachel! Usually after a sandwich, I feel paranoid, but I'm not. Why am I not feeling paranoid? No, don't. Dude, we'll be fine. Lily's going to know. Listen to me. Whatever we were just talking about, we'll be fine. You're right, she won't find out. Hey, guys. She knows. Can I observe something? This is kind of awesome. 
hold him. I can't believe we didn't do this before. Oh, no! And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Awesome. I know. Do it again. Okay, but this time jump up and I'll swipe your legs. <laughs> you walk out that door and we're done. You're never gonna hear my voice again. I should call her. No, no, Ted, If you call her when she asks you not to, you're just gonna look weak and you're gonna regret it. Now listen, whenever you feel like calling her, you come find me first. And I will punch you in the face. You're a good friend, Ted. What did Barney mean when he said calzone? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay. One time Barney saw me drop a calzone on the sidewalk, pick it up, and then keep eating it. It feels so good to finally say that out loud. Dude, I... listen to me. You have nothing to be ashamed of. That calzone sounds amazing. Ted, Ted, I've just had the most amazing burger of my life. It's this awesome little place. Regis Philbin eats there, so it's sort of like a celebrity hotspot. But the burger, Ted, the burger. Dude, I want one of those burgers right now. Do you think they're still open? I don't know. Does stuff in New York stay open past 9.30? Have you two been looking at a lot of places in this neighborhood? Oh, <laughs> actually. There's... Yes, we have. What? My husband, Emsbury, and I just okay. love this area. I'm a cricket player who secretly hates his life. What are you doing? Well, you were late yet again, and so I'm gonna do this little scene study with Ted. Why? Because he's there for me. That's it. You're too polite to brag. Well, fine. Let me. Because the only person on earth who loves Ted Mosby more than Marshall Erickson is drunk Marshall Erickson. Okay. Ted, bar, now. Nice. Try. You're gonna stick me with that baby so that you guys can spend five minutes sorting out his love life, followed by an hour of you getting drunk and pretending to be in the departed. You know what? I'm sorry, <laughs> Lily. Okay, but I just need to know. Are you a cop? I'm not a cop. Are you a I'm not a cop. Is she a cop? I think she's a cop. Did you know she was a cop? I didn't know she was a cop. Whoa, hold it, hold it, dude. If you tell me you have a thing for a woman that is not your wife, I will drag you outside and kick your ass. Okay, first of all, come on, buddy. You can't handle the fudge. <laughs> Laugh like I said something really funny. <laughs> right? That's great. One. Right? Hey, Marshall. Oh. Hey, hey, how's it going? It's good. Hey, I'm, uh... Yeah, I know who you are. I gotta go, I get this thing. Yeah, me too, but more important. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you around. Sure. Sure. Even if you don't believe it, tell me he looks fat. Totally looks fat. Awesome, huh? Yeah. You don't see anything wrong with that story? Well, I lost my new phone back at the club somewhere. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? I don't mean I lose things. You kissed a married woman, Ted. You committed credit card fraud. You kissed a married woman. Do you know how offensive that is to me? You're turning into Barney. We don't need another Barney. Ultimately, they were able to make ends meet without going bust on the apartment. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Who needs a car in New York City, right? Ted, I don't think I can accept Marshall, it. don't make me scream at you. You yelled at me. You got very firm with me. Very confident. It's cool. Thanks. You're very sexy when you yell, Marshall. Shut up. Veins, crazy muscles in your neck. You're like a Kentucky Derby winning steed. You're ruining a nice moment. At one point, I swear, I, I, I thought we were going to kiss. Ted, I... seriously, I'm married. <laughs> I think I'm falling for this girl pretty hard. But is everything happening too fast? I mean, maybe I should see other people. Whoa, dude, no. Lily Aldrin is special. You hold on to that girl. Oh, she is. She's, I'm only 18. Marshall, I... you being 18 isn't a bad thing. It just means you get to spend even more of your life with her. Hey, I think you guys should have the apartment. But you fought so bravely for it. <laughs> I wasn't fighting for the apartment. I was fighting for 
I don't know, for everything to stay the way it is. But I'm not gonna get that, so seriously, take the place, it's yours. Dear Lillian Marshall, I don't know if you know this, but I never took your names off the lease. Well, today, I took my name off it. The apartment is now yours. And I think I finally figured out the best thing to do with Robin's old room. Happy housewarming. But I, I, I told you last time I saw you, I'm selling the place. I know what you said. <laughs> I also know my best friend, Ted Mosby. Look, of all the times over the years when I've said to you, Slow down. Don't rush into things with this girl. You haven't listened to me a single damn time. Yeah, this party's dead. Mary, uh, you want to go upstairs? We uh, got a room. Dude, what are you doing? What's it look like? It looks bad is what it looks like. You cannot do this. Marshall, she is a really cool girl when you get to know her. Besides, I'm trying to make Robin jealous. Oh, that's real mature. No, Ted, I like Stella a lot. She's a Mets fan. Really? It's just that everything with you guys has moved so fast. You've only known each other a few months. Don't you think maybe you should slow things down a little bit, get to know each other better? I'll have a whole lifetime to get to know her better. Right now, I know the one thing that I have to, that I love her. Your heart is both drunk and a kid. Thanks for sticking up for me, man. That's what I do. Josh and I met uh, for the first time. We decided, you know, we're gonna be playing best friends. We should, we should try to at least like each other a little bit, some <laughs> um, which we still struggle with. But, uh, <laughs> no, just joking. So we met at a uh, at a bar um, right near Josh's house, uh, just to have a talk and get acquainted. And we must have stayed there for three or four hours and covered like all. Longer. Yeah, it was a long time. We <laughs> closed night. the joint down, frankly. And uh, and so we really hit it off. And not a week later, I had like a terrible day, and uh, I was really depressed, sitting in my house. And I like picked up the phone. And I dialed up Josh Radner, and within 20 minutes, he was over at my house and sat with me on my couch all day long while we talked through this thing. And I think since then, we've sort of been best friends in a lot of ways. What? Um, <laughs> Ted, say I'm your best friend. Oh